Now we are in Vilnius Science Academy uh, and the special gallery of Titanic, Titanic. I'm not sinking but still standing, yes, uh, which belongs to Academy. And now we have, I may say, the first uh, stained glass exposition trying to show to, or to explain uh, the professional school of Lithuanian stained glass. So he came to Paris in 1929 and he was studying uh, under the guidance of Fernand Leger, famous French artist. Also, he was attended in the class of uh, Le Corbusier, also famous uh, architect. Right. So mm -hmm. he got uh, knowledge about stained glass, and yes, he was working in, in one private stained glass studio where he got really uh, good knowledge uh, how to execute stained glass and about chemistry and, and uh, different mm -hmm. techniques. And he brought it to Lithuania, the knowledge and, and craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. uh, and he established first uh, stained glass studio in Kaunas in 1934. Yes. And uh, yeah, there you can see his portrait made by our student maybe 10 years ago. It's a silk screen. Cool. And uh, projects made by Ushinskas himself. Some of them are not executed that one, but uh, those two are in Kaunas, executed in 1947. These windows were made in Berchuna Church, uh, in 19, Lithuania, also right? Lithuania, mm -hmm. of course, in 19, around 1945-44. And you know, I also am trying to show uh, that, or to explain with the visitors that stained glass is not a picture. It's also a piece of architectural art, right. monumental art. Monumental so art, that's yes. why I decided to show also the preparatory drawings, life-size drawings, which were always made before making real stained glass. Like cartoon. Cartoon, yes. Call, yes. We yes. also mm -hmm. say the same, cartons. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, that piece is made by Ushinskas, very rare example existing, mm -hmm. just a small piece of his uh, cartoon from Berchune. And again, yeah, his disciples, because Ushinskas, he established uh, not only a stained glass workshop, but also a uh, studio. Studio. He had a, a lot of students, so Stoshos. He was, I think, one of the most talented disciples mm -hmm. who continued working uh, at Vilnius uh, Art Institute. Uh, starting from 1950s, and he was really very uh, a pioneer in Lithuania making uh, thick mm -hmm. uh, of, you know, of slab uh, stained glass, glass and concrete. Right. Mm -hmm. Dal, dal de verre in French. Yes. Dal de verre, thank you, same word you use. And for example, that piece is one of the very early examples made by Stoshkus in 1961. Small piece of uh, yeah, thick glass. Mm -hmm. Yes, and another cartoon by, made by Provis Bruges. He was our professor in 19, uh, starting from 19, maybe 86 till maybe 2015. And uh, some masterpieces made by Shatunas, I think one of the most prominent stained glass artists in Lithuania. Mm -hmm. He was very active uh, from 1966 till, uh, till 2000. And the thing is that uh, he was working mainly in Soviet period, where uh, when uh, a, lot of a lot of artists they were making you know, Lenin standing figures, mm -hmm. and he rejected. He Things rejected like this. to, to yes, depict he that. He did, uh, I think, more than 100 huge uh, monumental pieces, all of them abstract, purely abstraction. Mm -hmm. Yes, and stained glass pieces made by the same Bronis Bruges, uh, Barbara Radvilaita, one of the uh, beauties, most beautiful woman in our history. Like Paris Hilton of mm -hmm. Middle Ages. <laughs> Again, Shatunas. Yeah, Shatunas. Mm -hmm. And glass pieces made by Shatunas recently. He is of old age now, 83 years old, mm -hmm. but still in shape, in good shape. And also, yeah, piece, that piece made by our master degree student this year, recently, mm -hmm. and is dedicated to Ukraine. 
It's very interesting, Jeduna State, uh, Lithuania, probably is only one or couple, several schools where you can get a degree in stained glass, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. Yes, we teach, uh, we have bachelor for four years and uh, plus two years for master's degree. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can, uh, if you have good idea, you can also enter a PhD. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on your idea, your, your mm -hmm. conception. Uh, okay. Yes, Antanas Garbauskas, actually he was not teaching at academy, but he was teaching in, uh, at uh, youth uh, art school mm -hmm. and he established the same uh, studio. So small children, not small, but okay, but maybe teenagers, teenagers like, yeah, mm -hmm. they uh, started making also stained glass small pieces, but after they maybe fall, fell in love with the stained glass, mm -hmm. so they decided to Fin uh, so it's fin kind of like their first introduction with stained yes, glass. Yes. Mm -hmm. To apply for stained glass studies right. in the mm -hmm. Art Institute or Academy. And again, small piece made by our students uh, maybe 10 years ago. Some idea just to combine, you know, the. It's like more contemporary, yes, right? Mm -hmm. pieces by professors and also by our students. Yes. Very interesting to compare. Because, for example, here this is a masterpiece, I think one of the most precious uh, exhibits in this exposition, made by the same Ushinskas, mm -hmm. founder, father of our yes. school in 1946, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Battle of Jalgiris. Yes. Uh, very iconic scene. Mm -hmm. And close to it, you will see Saint Lemmy. Lemmy of yeah, Potter. Yeah, that's very interesting. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, the mister, yes. Mm -hmm. And the same naivety. It's mm -hmm. like a... Mm -hmm. I'll try to get a little bit closer look to see the details. Painting. For the tradition, we are trying to make uh, classical stained glass windows. We teach students how, uh, how to make uh, leaded glass, how to work in churches, uh, but in opposite way, close to it, we are teaching another techniques, modern techniques, mm -hmm. and trying to teach them how to work with the glass in a conceptual way, in a personal way. So I think we have very good balance between tradition and uh, like a modern or nowadays approaches. Absolutely, absolutely. I think in this exposition we really can see that and our artists prove that they are strong in, in composition and color and we have really strong school and be proud of it. Be and proud. Also, we still have a really well, very well equipped stained glass workshop. For yes. The, um, skillful technicians and uh, kilns mm -hmm. and you know different tools and absolutely okay. Still and uh, it's very uh, yes it's very interesting thing that uh, I think maybe we are only one in, in the world we produce uh, enamels by ourselves. Yes, that's so our super cool. Technicians cool. they do colors of high yes. temperature around 800 Celsius. Mm -hmm. Wide range of colors maybe around 30 colors. Yeah. Yeah. And also they produce by themselves uh, even the lead came. Lead came, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can make a different and the, so the lead came can be part of your artwork, not just like support the glass. It could be like really incorporated and, and be part of, uh, part of your idea and your art. Okay, thank you very much. It was awesome. Thank and bye-bye. Uh,